Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I just got back from a bike ride. I'm all suited right up for biking, <laughs> what we usually wear. Uh, and I thought I'd make a quick video after my bike ride, which this is now, uh, about the small hot stove. Now, um, I've been messing around with remotes. And I've decided the best uh, remote as far as taking up space and weight and just a way in all options is the non-adjustable SS remote. Now, um, that remote weighs about 3 grams, 4 grams more than the actual stove does, as most any remote is going to. So... Uh, uh, that's a negative. On the other hand, I can mill out the base of this remote and make it quite a bit lighter. And I can also mill out the base on the stove and make it quite a bit lighter. But uh, that would require that I jig this up in the rotary table and do a fair amount of precision milling in a fairly tight area, something you can't just bang a million of them out. You really you got to take your time. So uh, there's no money in this for me. I'd be doing it simply because people want it lighter. And I'd, I'd charge another 10 bucks, which for what I'd have to do is probably not what you'd call lucrative. <laughs> but my question would be, uh, are you willing to pay a dollar a gram to lighten this stove up? Because I can probably lighten this whole package up 20 grams if you want to pay an extra 20 bucks. <laughs> Machine work's expensive. It takes time. Time is money. Now, on the bright side, uh, and let me know about that weight. If that's what something you're interested in, I, I can do that. Uh, I found out that this is an ideal candidate. Uh, this is the whole unit together with a fuel bottle you're carrying anyway, so you can't count that. Here's the candidate, which fits in an Altoid box. Excellent. So let's take a quick picture of that set up and then in the Altoid box. Okay, you can see that fits in there, no problem. So uh, the whole thing, you know, fit in an Altoid box, slide right in your pocket. Everything's enclosed. You've got everything there you need to cook with. That's pretty unique. I don't know if anybody else sells anything like that. And I could buy a case of Altoid boxes. Believe it or not, you can buy this box. This, this Altoid tin, you, you can buy in bulk if you know where to look. I, it's like 50 cents a piece. And I could do that, but I think if I were going to do it, and I was going to buy this stove, it would be more fun to buy a can of Altoids and use the box once I get done eating the Altoids, or take the Altoids out and just use the box, because they're everywhere. And there's other things that come in Altoid-type boxes, too. I'm sure there's other candy that comes in these. So, that's what I'm thinking there. Now, um, I should show this stove. Somebody asked, and that reminds me. Uh, I'm going to show you two quick videos, one with just the center wick running and one with just one wick running. You've already seen it with both wicks. And before I show you the video and before I forget, somebody asked who I was talking about uh, on the video about the gentleman making the really nice stoves. That just and I went all back through my email and found out that it was in with 200 emails and I can't find it. It may have been in the email and that's, I'm just, but anyway, I can't find it. But you guys all know who I'm talking about. Uh, it's an oriental builder because all the subtext is in Chinese or Japanese or some oriental language. It's all the pictograph things. Taka Mari or something, I'm not sure, but if somebody knows exactly 
uh, the link to that, would they post it in a comment for me? Because I can't find it. And I even went on YouTube and I couldn't find it. I'm not that clever at this stuff. I, I'm basically pretty darn good at posting videos. But when it comes to finding links and posting them and all that, I'm I'm 63 years old. This is this technology is way beyond me anyway. I'm just the YouTube part of it I decided to master because it was a good marketing tool. And more important than that, I really enjoy making the videos. But the rest of it is... I'm a bit clumsy, although I own around six iPads. But anyway, <laughs> and and a Mac Mini. So uh, anyway, uh, if somebody could find that and post it, because it was a gentleman who wanted to watch him, and I was going to answer his email, couldn't find the link. Do you? okay. So I'll show you those two clips of it with one wick and with just a center wick burning. And I think it would simmer pretty good with just a center wick, depending on what size pot you had and what you were doing. You might want one wick. And then I'll get back to you. So let's look at that. Okay, there it is burning with one wick instead of two, which is a reasonably hot flame. And here it is burning with just a center wick. And that's a fairly long center wick. If I trim that down, uh, which I will do. I'll trim that wick down and shoot uh, one more. Okay, video. there it is with the wick trimmed down. Oh, it's maybe an eighth of an inch above the body of the stove. And that's probably not quite hot enough to bake with. I think I'd want a little more wick than that. So, there you go. Okay, so uh, there you see it with the one wick, with just the center wick, and with the center wick trimmed down, which makes quite a difference. And you can trim that wick to any length you want, and carrying two or three spares is going to weigh anything. So, uh, that and uh, let me know if you're willing to pay the extra money to have it lightened up even more. And very quickly, for the end of this video, I'm going to weigh each part of this and just see what the whole thing weighs. Good idea. Okay, the stove weighs 0. 0.6. And the remote, which has still got some alcohol in it, weighs 0. 0.7. More than the stove. And let's see. That's... Basically, well, you got the fuel line, which it's full of fuel. Uh, I'm going to take the whole thing and well, weigh the Altoid can. Okay, the Altoid can itself weighed 1.18. So, if you really want to lighten things up, don't put it in a can. Because the can weighs as much as the stove and the remote. <laughs> so, let me put the whole mess together. And we'll see what it weighs. Okay, this is the whole shoot and match. Uh, it's got a wet wick in it. Uh, it's all in the Altoid can, which is pretty heavy. And the whole shoot and match weighs just a second. Scales weren't on. 2.7 ounces. Now, if you want me to go milling on this, I can save maybe 20 grams, which would bring it down to 2.2, something like that, 2.15, something. I'm just off the top of my head. Uh, but it's going to cost 20 bucks. <laughs> so if that's something you're interested in, uh, let me know, because there's some gram weenies out there that, uh, you know, would do that. I just don't know how many. And and, uh, you know, I just need to know that. And if you find that link, post that link too. So, I think that's everything for this video. I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Try to have a really great day and try to have some fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye.